theme on your paper. First thing. Okay, fill in the blanks. So we have clock A and clock B, and it says clock blank shows half past 11. So which one of these clocks, A or B, shows half past 11? So this one looks like it's halfway between 11 and 12 for the hour hand, and this hour hand is between the 10 and 11. So if we want half past 11, then we want it to be past the 11 and halfway to the next hour. So clock A is the one that's showing half past 11, because it's after 11, halfway to the 12, and the minute hand is halfway around the clock here, okay? So number two, here's A, here's B. Clock blank shows half past two. Go ahead and write either A or B, whichever one is showing half past two. Number three, clock blank shows six o'clock. Number four, clock blank shows 9.30. Is it A or B? That shows 9.30. And number five, clock blank shows half past six. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. Match the clocks. So right here in the middle, we have the time in word form, and it's going to match to an analog clock and a digital clock. So let's do the first one together. This one says half past seven. So which one of these analog clocks shows half past seven? Well, that one looks like it's not half past. It looks like it's on the o'clock hour. This one's half past, but not half past seven. This one's half past, but not half past seven. And this one is half past seven. It's between seven and eight. It's halfway to eight, so it's half past seven. So I'm going to draw a line to that one. And then I also need to do the digital clock. So half past seven is the same as 7.30. Okay, this one is half past one. Match it to an analog clock and a digital clock. This one says seven o'clock. Match to an analog and digital. And then half past five. Make sure you match it to an analog clock and a digital clock. Go ahead and pause it to give you some time to do that. I'm going to move on and give you directions for number seven. It says, draw the minute and hour hands on the clocks. Okay, so we need to be very mindful of the minute hand and the hour hand size. So minute hand is long, hour hand is short. So let's do 3.30. I'm going to do the hour hand first. It's the shorthand. If it's 3.30, that means it's half past three, which means it's going to be between the three and the four o'clock hours. So I'm gonna do my shorthand pointing between the three and the four because it's 3.30 or half past three. And then my minute hand is my long hand. I need to show 30 minutes have gone by so I know that that's pointing down to the six and it's my long hand. Okay. I'm gonna skip over to C and this is 11 o'clock. So it's just now 11 o'clock so my hour hand is short. It's pointing right at the 11. 
and then zero minutes have gone by, so that's pointing straight up to the 12, and that's my long hand showing how many minutes have gone by, which are no minutes. Okay, go ahead and do B, D, E, and F on your own. When you are done, put it in the done tub. If you need more time, put it in the to be finished tray.